In today's episode of the Pathform Presents podcast, I have an interesting guest here with me today. I'm with Youssef Benamar, who's hailing over as a sales and marketing manager at Limbic Media. And uh, the folks at Limbic Media do some very interesting um, work between the art, the lightning space, and obviously also bringing that into a product. So today we're going to be learning all about Limbic Media, what is it all about, and how Youssef is thinking about growth for the company. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, Lucas. Uh... Thank you for having me and looking forward for this conversation. Awesome. Yeah. So give us that 360 overview. What is Limbic Media all about? So uh, we're a creative engineering firm and uh, we specialize in interactive technologies uh, using uh, a product we created about four years ago called Aurora. Uh, it analyzes sound frequencies and can deliver uh, mostly through lighting light shows that are uh, that are fitting the music, the sound, the environment. We mostly use it for public art uh, and cities and uh, property developers, but it has many, many uses. Uh, we are trying to work on uh, consumer products, consumer application of this algorithm. So uh, we're uh, trying to innovate the field of uh, interactive uh, technologies, placemaking, public spaces and public art. And who would be sort of tending to be a client for you folks? Like sort of maybe tell us a bit what types of organizations, companies, institutions would be reaching out and somehow leveraging what you guys are, you know, bringing to the market. So that's what's uh, really cool about what we do. We can work across like many verticals. Right now, uh, most of our clients are cities and uh, what we call business improvement districts. So they're uh, public-private partnerships between cities and businesses to improve areas. We work with property developers, we work in retail to just make uh, the shop entertainment experience better, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of charities too, uh, so sports teams, uh, there is really many, many applications. Anyone who got a space or uh, an open space or shared space and want to create an experience in their resorts and hotels too. And so that's what's really cool for someone like me in marketing. I just really get to test, test, test across many verticals. Gotcha. And is it typically like sort of like short term installments, like, you know, for like, I don't know, let's say a certain period of the year or sort of pop up uh, scenarios, or is it like longer term installments that people really tend to, you know, get set up? So uh, it's really up to the client. We do sales only. We build the product uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we are the best in the world when it comes to uh, outdoors. Uh, and interactive experiences, which are a little bit harder to do, especially in Canada, uh, where we are. Uh, but uh, it's up to the client. A lot of them leave them all year long because it comes with an app where you can change the light colors, you can uh, adapt new light shows and things like that. But uh, some people would like to, uh, like to just make it uh, pop-ups just to make it more unique. Makes sense. Very cool. So now let's talk a little bit about how people hear about uh, Limbic Media. Um, you're obviously in marketing and sales for the company. Maybe tell us about sort of the typical ways or the typical client acquisition channels that you guys are leveraging. Yeah, so we try to have uh, multi-channel marketing. Uh, we do a lot of direct prospecting through uh, LinkedIn and uh, Math here. And there is, of course, one of our main channel in terms of marketing is uh, emails. Mm -hmm. uh, we send many, many emails uh, to very uh, targeted lists we built. Uh, we've built that. That's kind of my job. And when I built a marketing machine with like email campaigns and email chains with the, all that good stuff, mm -hmm. ultimately we would move into a more of a, a inbound model where people will hear about us because what we do is quite public. But right now we're still uh, the small each company trying to make noise and uh, to tell everybody about our new really cool technology so uh, yeah. we gotta reach out makes sense makes sense um okay okay so what role do you attribute to the website then at the moment i know you're more from the sales side of things but maybe just you know from your perspective what role does limbicmedia.ca uh, actually you know um you know play in your eyes so the website is like super important uh, we've actually launched our new website, I think, uh, in September, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it really, uh, in turn, as a sales guy, I see a big difference. Like when people go to a quality website that looks much better, things are easier to find, they can find our projects, it just makes a big difference. We're also working on SEO to uh, help make people find our products easily. We have blog posts because we're innovators. A lot of people working with us come from uh, university background and things like that so we try to 
share that knowledge we have in the field. But um, a beautiful quality website makes a huge difference. Indeed. Very, very good. Okay, cool. So um, interesting. So tell us maybe a little bit more about the product, right? Aurora. So people obviously, you know, um, learning uh, about it as we speak, maybe give us an insight, like how is it being used? What does it actually do? Um, so yeah, that folks can get a bit of an insight. Yeah. So Aurora is a box that's pretty small now, and uh, you can plug uh, many lights to it, LEDs, and uh, it analyzes sound frequency right in, uh, either by uh, lining in your sound or you through a microphone and it delivers light shows in real time uh, you have an app you connect to, to your phone it's really easy to use and then uh, you can change the colors the light show the speed and all that and we use it in uh, multiple product application uh, for example one of my favorites is the singing tree where we would wrap a, a tree with lights, with a beautiful design, with the vines and things like that. And uh, then in the city, you'd be walking around and you have this tree that you can sing in front of it, or if you're drunk, yell and clap your hands. <laughs> and the city, on the other hand, can host events and uh, have charity things. It just makes the, the life a little bit better. Uh, and it just appeals to your imagination. A lot of time what we hear is a little bit like uh, there is this feeling when you go after going to a museum, you're inspired. And uh, we can build all sorts of things like that, from sculptures to kind of piece covering areas. It's really cool. Nice. I mean, everybody who's listening in, I would really urge you to head over to the website because the examples that Yusuf was saying, you actually see them live in video there. There's some... Uh, interesting examples of what he's been describing. Very cool. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit, Yusuf. I would like to get to know you uh, a little bit better as a sales and marketing professional. So, you know, there's so much content out there in terms of, you know, how to run outbound campaigns, how to grow, you know, a small, small, medium-sized business. You know, where do you like to read? Like, what is the resources that you, you know, consume and, you know, how do you filter with all the noise there? So I uh, have a background in economics. I study economics in uh, university. So I'm very statistics uh, oriented. Uh, what I found out about marketing, I mean, I always try to read uh, articles and books and uh, um, all that, but what's the best for me is always testing. That's all I know, because that's my, and especially for a market like ours, uh, you know, a lot of uh, the marketing to, uh, information out there is about software as a service and that, there isn't very many books about the how to market public art or lighting. Um, so uh, I, we're always testing and it's mostly the um, academic approach or more the scientific approach that we're into. Uh, and what I really find helpful is actually talking with the marketing professionals here in Victoria. Uh, we're in uh, on the west coast of Canada and uh, there's a lot of tech companies here and a lot of very, very smart marketing people that uh, have very good insight on how to run a business. Very cool. Um, let's wrap it up with some rapid fire questions so folks can get to know you a little better. Are you ready for those? Yeah. Very cool. What's the last book you read? The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera, but that's not a very business book. <laughs> that sounds very deep. <laughs> I guess in terms of uh, good business, I read uh, Thinking Fast and Slow uh, by Kahneman and Sversky. Mm -hmm. What's one single thing your company is focused on the most at the moment? Christmas, <laughs> we do lighting and this is our high season. We're running at 200% right now. Makes sense. If there would be no boundaries in technology, everything is possible. You have like a magic wand. What's the one thing you would fix for your role today? Mm, just people finding about Lambic Media organically. So perfect SEO. What's the last thing that kept you awake at night about the company? Um, no, that was quite recently, actually. That was our, our uh, email marketing stats were a little bit screwed up, so I had to figure out what was going on there. Turns out the software was wrong. <laughs> That's in the end, that sounds relieving, to be honest, that at least then the numbers wasn't there. Wasn't there. <laughs> very good. And the last question would be, if today would be your very first day joining Limbic Media, what's the one advice that you would give yourself? Um, try as many things as you can 
think about and uh, don't worry about success or failure because there is always success in everything. Might not be success like we define it right now, but just you gotta keep trying things all the time and sometimes they catch, sometimes they don't. Very cool. Yusuf, I really appreciate you took the time with us today to be a guest on Path and Presents. I want to give you the very last word, right? If somebody would be forgetting all that we discussed about limbic media today, what's the one thing that they should remember? If you want to have some really cool public spaces and you want uh, some beautiful interactive experiences, you should reach out to us. Thanks a lot for being a guest on Path and Presents. Thank you, Lucas. <laughs>